time for IT certification review. It's too early. I know, I know. I just passed the exam a couple of days ago. I just can't help it. I am too excited. I just achieved Certified Kubernetes Administrator or CKA, one of the best cloud certification in the industry. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm your career and certification captain or 3C. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. First, what is Kubernetes? A lot of people are talking about Docker and running it in their environment. Fine. Let's say you have Docker running in your servers. How do you manage this hundreds, if not thousands of Docker containers? That is where Kubernetes comes in. It's just simply an orchestration tool used for managing and automating containers. Created by Google, but they later donated the technology to Cloud Native Computing Foundation in July of 2015. If you're talking about DevOps, we're talking about multiple tools such as Docker, Terraform, ELK, Jenkins, and many others. But the core component really is Kubernetes. CKA is the best complement to any cloud certification you have, whether you're specializing in AWS, GCP, or Azure you will most likely run Kubernetes in your environment. There is no prerequisite, but it is highly recommended for you to be knowledgeable on Linux and a little of Docker because Kubernetes runs in Linux and it orchestrates container runtime such as Docker. Understanding Kubernetes would be a lot easier if you know both Linux and Docker and even if you're not familiar with YAML, don't worry, you will be able to understand it easily. Preparation time. I've been working with Kubernetes since 2019, I believe. I already know the basics and I specialize in container networking and was able to integrate it with F5, Arista, Cisco, and Calico. I only dedicated two weeks of lab practicing and reviewing. Then after that, I took the exam and passed it the first day. But let's say you're average, you have minimal working experience with Kubernetes, but familiar with Linux. I would say one to three months preparation is sufficient enough. But let's say you are zero or new to Linux. I would say three to five months preparation. Resources. Although I purchased the training plus exam bundle from Linux Foundation, I didn't use it much. The best resource in preparation for this exam is Certified Kubernetes Administrator with Practice Test by Mumshed Manambeth. The best thing about this course is you would be able to access the Practice Lab environment for free. You'll be able to practice Kubernetes commands and configuration via hands-on lab. Is it all you need to pass the exam? Yeah, pretty much, though he didn't talk about much detail of Kubernetes networking. But if you really want to understand container networking in a different approach in much detail, you can check this out. Open a web browser and type www.zurian.com. This will take you to the Zurian website, click training, and this will redirect you to the training webpage. Here you will see various courses. You can filter Kubernetes courses, and now only Kubernetes related courses are displayed, such as Docker and Kubernetes for network engineers, and building Docker and Kubernetes network and security lab for free, if you want to deploy Kubernetes cluster from scratch. 
The cost of the exam is originally 375 US dollars, but I purchased the training exam bundle with 50% discount. So it was only 180 or 190 USD. Not only that, it's good for two ticks. So even if you fail the first one, you have another chance of passing the exam. The length is 120 minutes or two hours, and this is all hands-on. It's all remote, and there's a system requirement, such as Chrome web browser, camera, and many others. You can open another tab dedicated for Kubernetes documentation. Yes, it's open notes, but only for Kubernetes official documentation page. And searching is also allowed. You will be monitored by a proctor via web camera and screen sharing. And the passing score is 66%. It's quite low, right? The exam consists of roughly 17 questions. This is a mix of provisioning and troubleshooting. Okay, so what would benefit you if you pass and obtain this certification? You will have a higher chance to be accepted when applying to a KCSP. What is KCSP? It stands for Kubernetes Cer Certified Service Provider. These are companies that provide professional services to support and maintain Kubernetes deployments. They require to have three CKAs. Take note, CKAD, the other certification, doesn't count towards this requirement. It should be CKA only. It's not only for Kubernetes partners. Kubernetes has been one of the most trending cloud and data center technology. Having this certification will definitely give you more and more opportunities, a pay raise or a promotion. Okay, for those who are CCIEs, who misses hands-on lab exam, this is definitely for you, but it's a lot easier and costs a lot less. All right, tips and tricks. I will reveal my ultimate secret in passing this exam. First, there is no dumps, or at least I don't know it exists. I didn't use any. Okay, here's the secret. Familiarize yourself with the documentation. For example, if it asks you about persistence volume or persistent volume or creating any objects, you should know what page to visit. Copy paste the example YAML manifest file and you should know what values and parameters to be changed based on the requirements. Practice this. Do it over and over until you master it. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification. First, exam content. I will give it five. It's all about Kubernetes, baby. And I have a high respect to all hands-on certification exam. Next is relevance to current technology. Again, five. Again, Kubernetes has been one of the most trending cloud and data center technology since I believe 2018 or 2019. Value for money, definitely five. It's just less 200 US dollars on a sale price with two ticks. Next is market demand, obviously five. Nothing beats Kubernetes. Kubernetes supported by all major cloud providers and companies, private cloud, also known as data centers, are shifting towards more and more containerization. Everything is good about this certification. Just one little flaw. Okay. I'm more interested with CKS. Stands for Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. It should be called CKSS, right? Anyway, um, the prerequisite for CKS exam is CKA. If you pass CKS, sorry, but it would not renew your CKA. Ah, I don't know why they did this. All right, CKA, CKS. 
CKA, CKS. When you obtain a higher level certification, automatically it should renew lower level certifications, right? Ah, oh, bad, bad, bad. I really hope Linux Foundation will resolve this issue in the future. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you agree with me. Also give me a thumbs up even if you don't. <laughs>